Do you ever wake up in the morning, get out of bed, walk to the bathroom, start brushing your teeth, look up into the mirror, and wonder, Wah, what am I? <laughs> oh no! Okay, well, if you do, then you're not alone. Philosophers have been wondering about this question for thousands of years. René Descartes argued that he is a soul. Um, John Locke argued that I am my memories, and Thomas Nagel argues that I am brain. Now, none of these answers seems particularly satisfactory. Um, if I'm a soul, then what's my relationship to this body? If I'm my memories, then how does it make sense to say something like, I was born, given that I don't recall that event? And if I'm a brain, then that seems to suggest I could have a body transplant with Melania Trump and still be the same person. Yet, somehow I find that highly unlikely. So, given these sorts of doubts, um, the philosophical debate concerning what I am continues to this day. However, there may be an end in sight. In 1975, one of the most distinguished philosophers of the 20th century, Elizabeth Anscombe, published a paper called The First Person, in which she claimed that the whole debate concerning what I am is, in fact, nonsense. And she said it's nonsense because the very question, what am I, involves a misunderstanding about the nature of language. In particular, it involves a misunderstanding about the meaning of the word I. Um, now, I find Anscombe's claims sort of bold and uh, exciting and ingenious, um, because she claims that simply through an analysis of language, she could subvert a long-standing philosophical debate by showing that everyone who's been taking part in this debate has been inadvertently talking nonsense. Um, lots of philosophers hate her for this. Um, so, um, when I first discovered Anson's paper in 2016, I felt like I simply had to get to the bottom of things. Why did one of the greatest philosophers of the 20th century make such seemingly outlandish claims? And this is the start of my research, which seeks to answer two questions. Firstly, why did Anson claim that simply through an analysis of language, she could show that the question, what am I, is nonsense? And secondly, could she really be right? Because when I wake up in the morning, and I get out of bed, and I walk to the bathroom, and I start brushing my teeth, and I have my existential crisis, and I'm wondering, what am I? Nothing seems more certain than that I am the person reflected in the mirror. And that's the end. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>